Now I know the new Outlook has divided opinion in terms of its capabilities and what it also lacks. But what it does provide is improved capabilities for task management, the ability to left click and drag to create a task, or even to right click an email, and also new ways to work with your flagged emails. But how does all of this work with a new app for Planner inside of Teams? Well, I thought it'd be a good opportunity to revisit this and see how it all comes together for you. So if you get an important email, you'll be easily about to create a task and a new outlook in seconds that appears in the Planner app inside of Teams. And before we dive in, as always, if you haven't subscribed, please do so and come on a journey with me showing you how to use these tools you already have in better ways. And even hit that like button to let me know this content has helped you. Otherwise, let's dive into Outlook and check out how we can manage tasks in better ways. So here we are in a new Outlook. And firstly, we're gonna consider flagging emails, the old fashioned way of getting us tasks inside of Outlook. And in the same way we did before, we can go and flag any emails in a new version of Outlook. Let's go ahead and add a flag for this email that we're gonna follow up on this week. And as that's now been added as a flag, well, we can now consider, can we pick this up from a task list? Because we used to do that in the old version of Outlook. Well, on the right hand side, you have an option here, which can expand the calendar and the to-do sidebar. Once you've expanded it, you can go ahead and click on to-do. And in the right hand side, you'll now have your taskbar with all of the relevant tasks. But as you'll see, it currently shows planned. So let's left click into that and head down to flagged emails. And there we go. We now see the flag we added to an email is available as a task inside of our to-do sidebar in the new Outlook. We can also go a step further. We can actually go and click into this here and make changes. Maybe meeting update isn't the correct title. We could update this to be more descriptive. But over time, you're gonna to need to have access to the original email. And we can once again click on email and we can view it directly inside of Outlook. And all of that is available via flagged emails. But what happens in a new world of Microsoft Teams and a new planner experience? Can you also access these flagged emails inside of the new Planner app? And you absolutely can. If we go down and open up the new Microsoft Planner app available inside of Teams, you'll see we have a number of different tasks here on my screen. Now, when you click on my tasks on the left hand side, you'll then be able to select flagged emails at the top of the screen. And there we go. We now have the flagged email for a meeting update. We can click on the eye icon here and we can now go ahead and even access the email which it related to by simply left clicking on that attachment. So any flagged emails that you create inside of the new Outlook will also synchronize into that Microsoft to do task management and also become available in a new version of Planner inside of Teams. So flagging emails is certainly one way of creating a task list that you can manage inside of the Planner app to do and Outlook. But you're probably thinking there should be better ways, right? Flagged emails are a thing of the past. Surely you just want to create a task directly from one of your emails. And I would absolutely agree. Now there's a couple of ways that we can get an email into your task list from the new Outlook. First off, we'll ensure on the right hand side that the to do sidebar is open. Once that's then done, we can go ahead and we can left click an email across. You'll now see an option to add as an event or alternatively add as a task. If I left click and then drop that into add as a task, you'll see all of your tasks inside a to do. And also relating to the contract signing, where well, you can see it appearing here. With that now selected, once again, I could update the actual title of the task. I could also click on the relevant email to get back to it quickly. But once again, this will synchronize back into your planner app inside of Teams. But if left click and drag in is not your thing, there's another way you can create a task in your to-do sidebar. All we need to do here is go ahead and select another email and right click. At this point, go to advanced options and select create task. And now, as you can see, the person in charge of the project Falcon is now shown as a task inside of my to-do sidebar. Another quick way to get a task from one of your emails into your task list. And as we can also see in the planner app inside of Teams, that task is now also appearing inside of my list. Yes, creating that task from Outlook also made it available here. 
and we could of course go further. As this now has been created as a task, I could also set the relevant progress, add notes and start dates, and we can also move forward and begin to capture more information to help complete this task. So that's a simple way to bring an email into your to-do list inside of the Wider Planner app that you can update and track as a separate task. So managing tasks in Outlook is just one way that we can now improve the way that we manage tasks in Microsoft 365. But what if I told you there are many different ways? Yes, Microsoft Loop, Lists, Planner Premium and more. And we've covered all of these topics off in our brand new masterclass that you'll find on our website below. So if you want to brush up on your skills and improve how you manage tasks in Microsoft 365 and become more effective, why not enroll in our masterclass and over four hours of content I'll deliver to you, showing you how to use those apps in much better ways. Otherwise, let's dive back into Outlook and check out more task management capabilities. But I still think we're missing a key part of the puzzle here, because in the new Outlook, it has app integration. I mean, on the left-hand side, we can now go ahead and click on the to-do icon on the left-hand side of the new Outlook. And here, we'll find your to-do list. This now will include all of the tasks we've just been looking at inside of the new Planner app. Yes, we can see here all of the tasks we added on. Here is that same email we saw inside of our Teams app. On the right hand side, the quick link to get back to that email and also set reminders and due dates and more. Not only that, on the left hand side, we see all of our flagged emails. We can also see them in a grid view or as a list view to make it really easy. Once again, left click, we can add further detail or get straight back to that email. We also have the ability in here to look at tasks that are actually appearing inside a Microsoft Planner. Yes, if you have any planned or assigned to me tasks and they do exist in a Microsoft Planner, you will also be able to access and maintain them through this app inside of Outlook. And here's an example of that. Here's our sales and marketing plan for some swag for a conference we've got coming up. We've actually seen here on the right hand side that I can open it up in Teams and it's all to do with the sales and marketing plan. So if I left click open in Teams, it'll take us straight into Microsoft Teams. And as you can see by following that link, the task has appeared in a new Planner app inside of Microsoft Teams. We again can see all the relevant detail and make updates, but we could have also done this in the To Do app that lived inside of Outlook. So you can see that all of these changes that we're making between a new Outlook and also between the Teams app are fully synced. And that by using this experience here, we can see a view of all of the tasks that you need to get done, all for a single app inside of the new Outlook. But how does it work with adding tasks to your day? If I go to my day here, I've got one of the tasks for a contract signing. I've also completed two previous tasks here. Well, actually, it's quite straightforward. Once again in Outlook, there'll be a suggestions button here. By left clicking into suggestions, you'll see suggested tasks that are effectively overdue or upcoming, you can add into your list really easily. Let's go ahead here and attend the weekly team check-in and we can add a plus icon or add it into my day. This once again will synchronize back into the Microsoft Teams app, as if you're using the Planner app inside the Teams, you're one of you again of what's going on in your day and it fully synchronizes back into Teams from Outlook once again. So adding tasks to your day is simple as clicking the plus icon and bringing them onto your dashboard. And lastly, let's also consider about creating a task that hasn't come from email. Yes, what if your phone goes or someone pops up to your desk? You need to create a task quickly that you can also pick up later. Well, that's not gonna help with any of the elements I've shown you because they all relate to emails. Well, we can also do that in the new Outlook via the app on the left hand side. Right at the top, we can now add a new task by going ahead and inputting it into this text box here. And before you go ahead and hit on enter, let's also check out, you can add due dates. Let's set it for next week. We can also add reminders and also set this to become a repeating task. Once that's done, let's go ahead and click on add. And it's now been added into our task list. By left clicking, we once again on the right hand side can add further steps and break it down. And well, as if any of our tasks, they also sync straight to our Teams app. Let's go ahead and open the Teams app once again, this time checking out my tasks and we'll have a look at private tasks. And as you can see, speak with Charlie on the finance invoice appearing here right at the bottom. We can also open it up 
add further details and checklists, but it's all synchronized once again into the Planner app for those tasks which don't appear on an email. So there you go, a few ways there that you can also now use in the new Outlook to manage your tasks in better ways. Whether that is that ability to left click and drag to create a task, right click it and create one from there, or flag an email that you can update later and get back to easily inside of the Planner app in Teams. There's a lot of different ways that you can use inside the Microsoft 365's Outlook and also Planner to bring it all together for task management. And as I mentioned earlier, if you did like this video, hit that like button to let me know that it's worked for you. And also hit that subscribe button so you can come on a journey with me where I show you how to use the tools that you already have installed in much better ways. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you on the next one.